Hello and welcome to highlights from a busy weekend of action in the WSL, including two huge ties in Manchester and London. Here's what's coming your way. The Manchester Derby rarely disappoints with pride and points on the line. It was also Derby Day in London on Friday night with the two title favourites in action. And Aston Villa travelled to Everton with hopes of a first WSL win against the Toffees. Walsh. Once again making the run, Park is there as well, Park will meet it. Looking for White. And the volley, just over by the Spain midfielder, Vicky Lasada. You can see right at the end, just it dipped. It's a good strike from Lasada. Hemp. Does very well to get past Batia. And White is off through the centre again. Park in space on the right. Hemp still going. Now Park. All across. What a miss. What a miss from Lauren Hemp. I'll tell you what, it's fantastic play initially from Lauren Hemp, and it's something they didn't really get going last week against Chelsea. Getting the ball wide, and it ends up at Jess Park. And these fullbacks for United will know they're in a game, and it's a great ball in, but she had to get more on it. Park's delivery. Hemp was in there. Close. A terrific play by Park. Quick feet, but it's a difficult one that. Trying to get it over Mary Earps and under the bar. Lucy Bronze almost getting the better, does get the better of Hannah Blondell. And White sends it over the bar and kicks the hoardings in frustration. Yeah, she normally would put that away, Ellen White. She's annoyed with herself there. Russo. It's excellent vision. Now, can Manchester United counter? Borisa looking for Bruin. Straight into Alex Greenwood. And that was an opening. Yeah, that, that's the type of thing I'm talking about. Getting the ball up the pitch when they win it back in limited passes. Advantage played. Lasada Park's asking for it. Here she is. Will let fly, and it's off the post, and won't fall for White, and won't quite fall for Hemp either. Once again, Jess Park hits the woodwork in a match against Manchester United, but this time, White can't find the tap-in. Can United fashion a chance at the other end? Bruin is through the centre, Toon is in possession, and Toon will go for it, beaten away by Roebuck, and again, so close to falling kindly for the follow-up. This time for United, Roebuck with another punch, and Manchester City clear. It bounced awkward, didn't it, in front of Roebuck, and she did really well. Here is Thomas. Now Russo. Corner. They still believe. Finally poised as we enter the final 15 minutes. Salem's delivery and the header just wide. Tell you she's made a difference, Martha Thomas. It's a good cameo so far from her. Greenwood with the foot in. Bruin gets her own foot in, as does Weir. Stealing it from Zellum. She might go for it here. Weir. She went for the chip again. And it's brilliant again. For the second year in a row, Caroline Weir undoes Manchester United with a moment of sheer brilliance. And City lead in the Manchester derby. 1-0. What did I say? Predicted that in terms of the quality that she adds to a really tight game.
But once again in the Manchester derby, it is Manchester City's afternoon. Caroline Weir with another sublime piece of skill against their rivals. The late breakthrough, enough. And in front of a record crowd at the Academy Stadium. And Manchester City win by a goal to nil. To King's Meadow next, where Arsenal, having beaten Chelsea on the opening weekend, were looking to complete a league double over their hosts for the first time since 2013. A win for the Blues, however, would really ignite their title challenge. Watching this one was... My Little. Leo Williamson with the switch. No flag against Ford. Oh, beautifully done. And over goes Ford. No dice from Rebecca Welch. Super stuff from Caitlin Ford here to skip away from Jess Carter. Miedemar. And now it's Caitlin Ford. Might have been better advised to have gone for the earlier strike across goal. Slipped in neatly by Miedemar here. Jess Carter had time to get across and make a solid block. Catley. Berger has uh, stayed. Well, she got the opening goal when Arsenal beat Chelsea on the opening weekend. Viviana Miedemar. And then Katrin Berger could only watch and hope as Miedemar connected with that one. Harder. Williamson got back. Oh, what a chance for Kerr. She fluffed her lines. Kirby couldn't finish it off either. Just completely read that wrong. It's an air shot. And it's a big, big let off for Arsenal. Here's Kerr. Really strong stuff from Rafael. Sosa Kerr gets it in oh and here's a chance and there is finally a save and nearly an own goal oh well what an impact that nearly was from Ji So Yun well struck and uh, got themselves in a bit of a muddle there Williamson and Zinsberger on the move is Anderson. It's been a better second half from Chelsea. Arsenal haven't been able to dictate play as much as they did in the first period. Carter's ball in. Williamson got a nick on it. This is harder. All into a good area. Chance here! Straight at Zinsberger from Guro Wrighton. And the match winner last weekend unable to find the net here. That's going to be a free kick, though, for Arsenal late on. Bit of a needless one as well. Into a good area. Oh! Has it gone in? Still alive! What a scramble! And what an escape for Chelsea! Oh, how crucial that could be come the end of the season. Corner is into a good area and bright off the line. Miedemar's there. It's all happening in that Chelsea penalty area. Well, this was into such a dangerous area. Berger got a hand to it. And it was Harder who was back there defending. And Millie Bright got something on it as well to help it further away. And Bright then was in just the right spot. Harder, handy pass for Charles, good defending, but Charles, what's that, an arm? Chelsea are asking. 
Rebecca Welch says no. Well, I think Leah Williamson has got lucky there. Kerr will chase this and might get there as well. It's Sam Kerr. Fleming. Kerr! Chance to win it with the last action of the game. Not the easiest of chances, but Kerr got her angles all wrong. Two sides stacked with so much goal-scoring talent. Can't find a way through. Arsenal remain top of the table. Chelsea, though, remain very much in the shake-up. Full-time then at Kings Meadow. Chelsea nil, Arsenal nil. Next up, Aston Villa in ninth place at the start of the weekend and with only one league win in six, travelled to Everton, a place lower and two points worse off. Commentary comes from Nigel Adderley. Everton now with as many management teams as league victories so far this season. Here is Duggan. Mailing should clear, but she's given the ball away to Darley. Darley given the room to come in field. Now Scott, but she's lost out to Christiansen. And here is Darley again. And Hampton makes the save. And she'll be grateful that Anna Patton was well placed. It's been a good start here from Everton. Well, now it's been given away by Little John. Here is Darley again. And this time it's an excellent save from Hampton. Asante with the clearance. And at the moment, it is Darley against Hampton. And set pieces will be an issue in this wind. Pacheco's delivery. And McKeever able to fist away. Scott with the acrobatics. And the opening goal from Gilnick. Emily Gilnick with only her second of the season. Darley's free kick. Christensen looking to hook it towards goal. Well, that's been given away. And here is Lehman. Alicia Lehman is away here for Aston Villa. One on one with McKeever. And McKeever makes a fine save. A real escape there for Everton. Good challenge on Turner. Here is Sarah Mailing. Lehman in support. The cross is behind Gilnick, but there is Petzelberger, 2-0. Ramona Petzelberger with her first WSL goal of the season. And the corner swirled in once again. There is real confusion in there. And somehow McGill unable to turn the ball in. And it's hoofed away by Petzelberger. Now Pattinson. Well, there could be trouble here for Hampton. It's off the post. And the rebound from McGill is blocked. And that corner again. Caught in the wind. It's knotted down. Flicked towards goal by Govan. And an excellent save from Hampton with the help of the woodwork. Birmingham had never beaten Tottenham in the WSL and the signs of an upset didn't look good when Ashley Neville pounced on a loose ball to put Spurs ahead. The visitors went close to extending their lead. Rachel Williams forcing a fine save from Emily Ramsey before Neville's shot thumped the bar. Tottenham continued to press and when Jessica Naz found Neville, the defender was inches away from claiming her second. Spurs eventually sealed the win five minutes from time. Neville's cross falling to Rhea Percival, who made no mistake despite protests of offside. In the reverse fixture back in September, Leicester endured their joint heaviest defeat of the season. But it was a different story today. Natasha Flint charging down Mackenzie Arnold's clearance to give the hosts an early lead.
Ashley Plumcher then guided her header past Arnold to put Leicester well on their way to a third win in four home league games under Lydia Bedford. Not long after the break, Shannon O'Brien's low cross was tapped in by Freya Gregory to put the match beyond West Ham and give Leicester's hopes of survival a huge boost. Reading had won each of their last five WSL matches. Brighton, meanwhile, were on a seven-game winless run, but it was the hosts who went ahead, Kaylee Green with a powerful header. Brighton continued to push and Green nearly doubled their lead, the crossbar coming to Reading's rescue. Shortly after the break, Ellie Brazil teed up Green, who made it two with a cruelly taken poked finish. When Reading failed to deal with the corner, Eileen Whelan thought she had made it three, but her scrambled finish was touched in by Green, who claimed her hat-trick. Emma Coivisto completed the victory in style, beating Grace Maloney at the near post. A cross-come shot from Norwegian international Amelie Eikland was the only blemish on Brighton's assured performance, who put an end to Reading's longest winning run in the WSL. Confirmation of the results from match day 15 of the Barclays FA Women's Super League.